Greetings, Captains, and welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Command, or where I'm Postman. I'm Admiral Tirak of the carrier USS Wasp, no longer escorted by the MacArthur, as we continue our campaign against the Romulan Star Empire. And we are currently sort of sieging the planet of 2411. It's not, it's not so super serious right now, but we are going to try and take it because it is right next to our next target and would so serve as an excellent base of operations. Unfortunately, it's going to make us do a shipyard assault on something that doesn't have... Really, game? This is an excellent start. With a plasma monster. And oh god. Um. Oh. Hi. These are Andromedan vessels, ladies and gentlemen. These are incredibly terrifying. They're from a different galaxy and they're very, very strong. Uh, this is a plasma monster. He is not from a different galaxy, but he is definitely very strong. This has got to be an interesting operation. That's let's put it mildly increase speed prep countermeasures and guys if you get close you're screwed how does a plasma monster have electronic countermeasures i don't know i don't want to know maximum shield reinforcement we are free and clear now we're no longer babysitting uh a battle cruiser which means we get to operate a little bit more i'm gonna say aggressively but not really more conservatively honestly because we no longer have to worry about the ai charging in front of things we can just keep a high speed and go which we're gonna do. So let's come up here, our field reinforcement. I have a lot of power, which I am now going to sap from quite ruthlessly so that I can get my speed up going. You are a limit to a speed of 20. That's good to hear. Photon torpedoes, prepare for engagement. Uh, actually, you're getting rather close and you are separate from your friends. Probe into him. Tell me exactly what he's got. Okay, he's got his, uh, his weird stuff. It shows that it's an ESG Lance and Phaser 2s, but it's lying to us. And we know that it's lying to us because the game well, the game is a filthy liar. Let's go and kill you completely. Hopefully this works. I'm really kind of begging that you don't get killed because I like to keep my fighters alive. Missiles, seed the, seed the zone. And then, do you have shuttles? That's an interesting question. You do not have point defense systems of any kind. Kill him. Thank you. Uh, on to you. You do have fighters. I don't know how dangerous your fighters are. You have enough ammunition for one more pass. Because, uh, they go with enough ammunition for two passes, which I will attempt to exploit. Uh, missiles, I'd like another pre-seed barrage. He is a little bit he more heavily armed and or armored, so if you can make that happen. Photon torpedo sector proximity mode, I want to put these on target as well. It's going to take them actually a turn to re reset their phasers. Oh, you could kill the fighters, that's, that's not a terrible use of your time. It's only a moderately bad use of your time. We need to keep very much in mind he's constantly gaining on us. How am I doing on fighters? Did I lose one? I did not. That's good. I'm calling you home. You gotta come back. You're down to a singleton. I need to get you restocked. I also need to desperately evade him because if we get too close, bad things will happen. He did indeed have a wild weasel. Fascinating. Okay, um, that on you. Wait for it. Three, two... One, that on you. Our weakened fighter squadron has returned. And they're starting to engage multiple targets, which I don't want them to do. I really did want them to concentrate their fire, uh, except they're not. Although, <laughs> Gatling phasers are amazing. Oh, I love you, Gatling phasers. Please never change and or go away, because they're, they're too good. They're too good for this world. Uh, I think I gotta f call you all home. One, two, three, and... The fourth is still on board. The reason why they we're returning them home is, uh... God, I hope that you're not anything dangerous. The reason we gotta return them home is because they've used up all their ammunition. The one thing about fighters that's different from pseudo frigates, aside from, you know, the fact they don't have shields, they got a natural point of VC up, they come in groups of four. It's, one of the bigger differences is the fact that they can't rearm their weapons. Once they use them, they're done. They carry a certain amount of ammunition for all their weapons, but, uh, yeah, only, only so much on board. How you doing on speed? Uh, let me slow you down a bit more by sending missiles your way. Come on, guys, dock up. Yeah, I know, it's a high-speed docking maneuver, and that can be a little bit intimidating, but you can do it. The bay is open, boys. Are you not obeying me in combat again? Because I really don't like it when you do this, because, no, I've got to increase speed to get on out of here. Because we we need to extend. Uh, turn that off, I don't need it. Yeah, he's down to a speed of 11.5. I really can't afford to be slowing down for you right now. I'd like to, don't get me wrong, but this plasma torpedo shot is going to come a long way towards us. So get your butt on board, boys. 
All right, it's it's died off. Turn back on in. More missiles. Missiles are the greatest weapon that you can engage monsters with because the monsters don't know how to defend against them. Come on, come on, dock up. Guys, you don't need repairs. You just need a little bit of ammunition, and that'll be great. Wonderful. Flood and torpedoes are not yet ready because we had to burn a whole heck of a lot of power in order to evade the enemy, but that's fine. These missiles, I don't think will kill them, but it might. Yeah, I didn't think it would kill them, but it might. Uh, we're going to come in here with uh, more missiles and more missiles because missiles are a really effective weapon. Main, main reason, he has no defense. He's got no point defense systems whatsoever, so we can just continue to shell into him. Which I think is something that probably should be changed. Yeah, I don't want to say that, but I kind of do. If they had D-type plasma torpedoes, I'd have to give them more respect. Which, don't get me wrong, they're incredibly terrifying, but if you've got missiles, they're somewhat useless. This is going to be dangerous, but we're going to do it. We are a carrier going on a cannon run. I really hope that you have no point defenses. Or you have no... You don't? Good. This is going to be just enough time to cut on through. Oh, that looked like it hurt a lot. He didn't lose his R. More power, more power, more power. Mine. More power, more power, more power. All energy. Never mind, he's, he's useless. Okay, we got him. We got him, guys. No worries. He, uh, as you can see, lost his R-type plasma torpedo in that last phase of barrage, so that was useful. These missiles might kill you, and I kind of hope that they do. You, on the other hand, I have no idea how effective you still are. Because I don't really understand Andromedans. They're a crazy, insane race of people that I don't get. So I'm going to launch four groups of fighters in attack mode at you. And look at them ready to go. They are just going to jump on top of you and rip you apart. Which is what fighters do really, really well. And I love them for that. Fighters are awesome. Also because I like real world fighter aircraft. They're really cool. So, yeah. I wish, I really wish that we could get more fighter models so that a vulture looked different from a hawk, which would look different from a raven, etc, etc. Because, well, I played Shattered Universe, which is basically, I don't want to say Rogue Squadron for Star Trek, but it kind of is. Alright boys, return. There's no target, so it's going to be glitchy as all hell, but I'm going to order you to return nonetheless. Uh, and they have individual fi uh, fighter designs for... Romulans, Klingons, and Federation. And I think some Orion ones too. And I don't know if they were made by the... But some of these designs quite clearly are the same. Like, this, the Hawk is the same in both games, which is cool. And the Vulture, I believe, if I'm thinking of the Vulture... I might be thinking of the Raven, but it's got sort of like an inverted y, or a Y-shaped thing going on with two kind of like weapons pods up above the central main structure, and I used that a lot. It took me forever in that game before I realized that using the uh, secondary fire on the phasers, which was like this rapid fire tap attack, was more effective on shields and thus allowed you to actually destroy things. Alright, let's find out exactly what you got. I'm anticipating that you're Romulan, but we don't know for sure. Because this is something you never quite know for sure. Ah ha ha! You're Lyran! Oh, somebody answered my prayers. You're Lyran. Okay, so the Laren have expanding for generators, which is terrifying and means that we're not going to get any missiles through. We're out of missiles. And we're not going to get any fighters through. We'll keep them inside. But they have no other special heavy weapons. They've got, as you can see, phaser twos and threes. So we're just going to park up right on top of them and blast them to pieces with our phaser armament. They don't get to cloak, which means they won't be able to hide from my firepower. Oh, this is... They are the best enemies to fight because missiles, when you go maximum speed of time, can eventually get through your defenses because of reasons. But the uh, the Lyrians? No. No, we're, we've got you. You're done for. Give me within a range of five. That way I can uh, have efficient phaser firing. He is putting his corner to me, which is a little annoying. But we... Wow, really? You missed that many shots. How much power on the forward shield right now? That's not the tab I need. That's the tab I need. Thank you. Okay, we knocked down a shield. Excellent. Uh, what's my range? 3.2? A little bit closer. Yes, it'll put us in ESG range, but it'll also bring this online, and that, that hurts. More phasers. Are we back to speed? We are. So the, uh, the Gatling phaser, of course, being our hidden weapon, that can, well, do that. 46 damage just from that Gatling phaser. Plus 25 from all the phasers. So four Gatling phasers is better than six phaser ones. Uh, knock out that chill, please. Thank you. Next. Hopefully this will take the planet because I don't want to duel over this much longer. 
it, it's a good position to have to sort of hold off the ISC. Not that we're fighting the ISC, they're neutral in this campaign, which I need to go in to figure out how I can change that so we can someday fight the ISC. As we saw right in here to this one, we're going to rip you apart bit by bit. You won't be able to stop us. It's going to be hilarious. Well, maybe not for you, but it'll be amusing enough for the rest of us. Close, close, close. Get within a range. We're within a range. All weapons. Thank you. So 55 damage, unfortunately, not the hugest amount. Although we did have to knock through his shield and all of his reinforcement. If you turn on his ESG at maximum range, he should be able to hit him. He's not going to because he won't do that, but he should. It would be most intelligent of him. Unfortunately, it's a Lyran Stardock, so... Well, you get what you can take. Or you take what you can get. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Last Stardock. This is why... This is why these missions are the worst. Because, well, this. It's just slow. The Stardocks are tough, and the reason why they are tough is so that you can't just zip on through, fire a couple of missiles on your way past, and wipe out three Stardocks. They make you actually have to invest the time and effort into doing it. The problem is, it just takes a while, and once you get to this point, you've beaten them. And they don't even seem to realize it. Also, what are the Lyrans doing with a random Stardock in the middle of the neutral zone? We have questions. Questions that you're going to have to answer in a joint council of the Federation. Not that they're a part of our Federation, but the Federation likes joint councils. You're going to have to get over that. Let's start slowing down so we can get within our proper range so we don't get too close and let's get hurt and are close enough in order to fire all of this. They're taking hull damage. Seriously, ESGs, you should use them. They're, they're quite efficient. Although, to be fair, even in our Lyran campaign, we ended up really gravitating to Maulers. Are ESGs any good in the tabletop? Because they really don't feel like it here. Like, yeah, there's situationally they can have some use, but they're so gosh darn specialized that we found in our Lyran campaign, Maulers were the way to go. The joke, of course, being they didn't even invent the Mauler. So a successful mission all around. Victory has been, of course, assured. 450 prestige, and the tile wasn't taken. Sadly, we're going to have to duel even more over this gosh darn place. Mission patrol. Patrols are good. Especially now that we don't have the MacArthur around as a boat anchor. So we can go at a high speed if we wish and avoid all combat. Red alert and increased speed. Going to come around in here. Uh, we are down to three shuttles. So we are going to have to return home at some point relatively soon. It's not going to be like anything immediate, but something to keep in mind. Increase the speed of the vessel. We're just going to get underway. We'll worry about electronic countermeasures just shortly. Uh, shields first, however, because shields are important. If you don't reinforce the shields, you end up taking all the damage, and really you want some points of power into the reinforcement so you can neutralize shots. It's very effective. It's a dreadnought. Okay, send a probe. See if he's got a friend. It's an older style dreadnought. And you have two R's, two F's, and no D-type plasma torpedoes. That was your mistake, sir. Prep our last of those, so all our shuttles will be set up. We won't have to worry about converting anything else. Hi, fighter squadrons, you're deploying with me. Partially because the AI also likes to go after my fighter squadrons, which is not a bad plan. Um, when we play, we go after fighter squadrons because they're amazing, as, you know, we can wipe out entire... If we get one good run through, we can kill pretty much anything in one pass. And uh, we have been on the receiving end of that before. And the scary part is, it's not even the most dangerous ones, it's the weak ones. Alright, fire at you. Target the next one behind you. Photo torpedoes, select proximity mode. Fire and fade. Fire and fade. Uh, you guys are now going to... One. Two. Three. And four. Engage and kill. Please tell me you'll go for the Dreadnought and not the uh, Pseudo Frigates, because I can deal with the Pseudo Frigates. That's actually kind of what I'm here to do. I am fully and well equipped to kill these Interceptors. That's kind of why I invested in the fast missiles. Like, that was one of the major reasons for investing in fast missiles. Was that they could dart after the Pseudo Frigates so that I could keep my fighters so they could go after him. He's fired his Plasma Torpedo, however, we are on a course directly away from him, and we've killed him. So now it's a carrier versus an old school dreadnought, which we should actually keep our range from because he still, at the end of the day, still has two R-type plasma torpedoes, and that would be bad if we started playing too much with him. But uh, if we can keep the range relatively long, which we can, we can just set up it and start uh, lobbing missiles at him. 
I really kind of wish the Federations would go more into a missile carrier, because that would make this much easier. Or, you know, photon torpedoes that could fire out the side. That'd be fun, too. I'm pretty sure the heavy bombardment cruisers can do that. Or the auxiliary fire support cruisers can. So these missiles heading on in. Didn't even need them. Fighters doing their job. As they do. Because they're very good at it. Fighters are fantastic. If you don't believe me, I don't know what I can do to convince you at this point because they're amazing. Carriers, of course, very powerful. We may actually stay in the SES for the whole campaign just because it's kind of funny. So, bounce over here. Bounce on back. Give me another mission. It's a convoy raid, which is something that... Something we'd actually do really well. Sort of. The reason I say sort of is because fighter AI is glitched as all hell in convoy raids. So they are immediately going to... The moment I launch these fighters, they're immediately going to go try and kill that. Kill the convoy. They will not help me out at all. Which is a little frustrating. And I'm not sure why they do it. So the trick is you line them up with the enemy heavy cruiser, you deploy them, and they fly over the heavy cruiser, give them one pass and haul ass, and then hit the rest of the convoy. So we are going to have to do something similar to that. Deploy the fighters as soon as we're ready to go. There's a launch all fighters key. I do need to look that up. Actually, I have that on the pamphlet, don't I? So let me launch them by hand and turn a little bit. You have all been given an order to attack the FHA. All right, the Empire at War. Handy dandy little cheat sheet. Uh, it doesn't have any of the ones that are unbound, I'm pretty sure. So if it's not normally bound, it won't be on here. Okay, well, it's actually two full page. Yeah, it's two, two pages of information here. I'm going to have pay attention to fighting a Hawk cruiser and have pay attention to a sheet here. So we've got all the follow commands, the HUDs, maximum normal, minimal information. Ooh, does that work? Do I dare touch that button to see if it works? Guys, don't, don't. Not if he's cloaked. Only shoot at him if you can see him. That shouldn't be something I have to tell them, but they... I need more fighter options. In the next version of this game that we have, I need more fighter options. More power. Shield reinforcement to the stern. We're not going to fight you. Uh, sorry, but we have more important things to do. Like kill a convoy. And as you can see, despite having the order to attack him, they're going to go for the convoy. I'm going to unload my missiles into him and try and get him to stop. Because he's firing his phasers into my fighters and I am not about that. Hi, you have incoming. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to freak out? You should freak out. Yeah, he freaked out. Uh, so easily, easily tricked into doing things. That's uh, the first one down. Yeah, we're going to kill the combo before we bother with him. First of all, because he stopped himself, which was a mistake. Second of all, because I want to make sure I actually win this mission. And if we want to win this mission, we're going to have to kill the convoy first. Unfortunately, the fighters have gone for targets that I don't really want them to go for right now. And the missile defense system will shoot that all down. Vulture squadrons, try not to get yourself killed. I would like to keep you alive. Phaser select only. We're going to kill this entire convoy before he has any opportunity to fly at all. Last one. Uh, another set of missiles, because I can. Because you are going to respond to it in some way, hopefully with another wild weasel, but you never know. I'm going to see if I can't order him back home. Because if I can, then we've, we've got this golden, because I'll be able to get my fighters back, we'll be able to reset, recharge, and get ready to hit him as we need to. Photon torpedoes. He does have an attack shift of one, which is not grand. I'm not putting that much energy into it all, to be honest. All oh, missed. To be fair, I did mess that up. I fired at maximum range. More of... Actually, that. Oh, I did not see that coming. We're going to stop. We're going to stop. We're going to let it pass on by. Because that's about to happen. Yeah, he stopped as well. And he cloaked. Oh, that was not a, that was not the right solution, my friend. My fighters are all back in the hole right now, and they are recharging and rearming. I'm going to deploy the fighter as soon as he gets done. All right, guys. Shuttle Bay will be ready shortly. I'm going to slip on behind this guy. We'll launch you, and that way you'll be able to go hit him, hit this uh, convoy before anything can happen. Yep. And you dumped your wild weasel. And actually, just to add insult to injury over here. Uh, deselect the missile launchers just in case he hits it. If he hits it at a fast enough speed, he will uh, reveal himself. Yeah, a little bit of phaser fire. Nothing too special. Uh, the missiles, on the other hand, will now engage at you. 
and I will dump a mine over here just to discourage pursuit a little bit more. If uh, the missiles don't kill you, the phasers will, and then we're going to go kill the convoy escort. He did fire his phasers into my forward shields. There we go. Pass on by. The freighters are destroyed. If we wish, we may escape and evade the enemy. Uh, do we wish to? No. We're going to kill him. We are going to break his back. It's going to be all Superman up in here. Well, let's turn on in. Wait till we get a good angle here. Are you going to plow through that mine? Because that'd be hilarious. I encourage you to do. I just realized I was traveling at a speed of 29 <laughs> this whole time. Which was not a bad strategy. We are, after all, a carrier. But, missiles, engage, <clears throat> and turn away. Let's start uh, filling him up so he's got to worry about the missiles. We do have one more wild weasel ready for just-in-case situations. Am I reinforcing the rear shield only? I am. I suppose that makes sense. He deployed another wild weasel, which makes some sense, actually. Are you guys engaging? No, they're not. Why? Engage, guys. Come on. I really need you guys to pick up the pace here. So my fighters... Oh, I know why. The AI does not know what to do once the convoy is destroyed. We actually took advantage of that glitch once. Uh, I believe it was in the Hydran campaign, where the AI had managed to wipe out our convoy, and then once it did, they stopped. Okay, let's try scooping them up and see if they, uh, see if they will have no trouble with that. Oh, nope, now they're moving. Can I get you to kill now? Will you now move? It looks like they're moving. Excellent. Okay. So, now that we've got that sorted, missiles. Yeah, sometimes we have to do mid-game tech support because reasons. Uh, stay away from him. In fact, pick up some speed. Pick up some serious speed because he's about to be annoying. Missiles got on through as they do. I think he just killed a fighter squadron. He did. Oh, you, you jerk. You killed a whole squadron of fighters and now you're turning away from me. That's a mistake. Oh, that's a serious mistake. Back 75 ton torpedoes are set. Hopefully we'll get in range before he hits outside of our range of 20. For highest accuracy. Three good hits, knocking and damaging down the shields. Fighters do not appear to be engaging properly. They in fact appear to be tr rushing towards the edge of the map. Which is frustrating. Uh, fighters return since you clearly are glitched out to all hell. Uh, we're going to keep up the missile launching. Unfortunately, we're about to run out of missiles. In fact, we did just run out of missiles. We'll have one more fighter squadron ready to rock shortly. But we are down to uh, photon torpedoes, which we know we can win pretty much against almost any Romulan vessel with just photon torpedoes. That is not a concern. The concern is, of course, how much uh, firepower is he about to bring to bear against us? with his uh, heavy plasma torpedoes. Or if he heads towards our vultures, we're gonna be able to turn in on him and get on this turn again, which will hurt him quite badly, actually. He is, however, focusing fire on us once again. Let's get reinforce all on that, just because I do not anticipate this being a traditional fight. Uh, one more tick, one more tick, and tick. Three hits, that definitely weakened the shield on that one. Don't have any more scatter packs, don't have any more missiles, this is just going to be an energy-based armament fight, unfortunately, for us and him, I suppose. Uh, he has the much heavier armament, so just for us. Hey, I've got one squadron of fighters ready to go, pretty much. Let's see if we can't cut on back. It's going to take him a turn to get back to us, because he's taking his good old sweet time. Is he limited down to a speed of 20.7? Did I really hurt him that badly? Come on, get back, get back. Because if you're, if you're honest to God limited to that speed, then we can really cause some havoc here. So on a bit more. Get on board before he steadily phasers you to death. That would be kind of tragic, actually. Come on. I slowed down, so you slowed down? Thank you. Pick of the pace. That's what I was expecting. Uh, defensive plasma or er, defensive phasers. Shut them off. Actually, no, I should... I honestly actually should leave them on for this one because the amount of damage that we can counteract using the G-type plasma torpedo or the G-type phasers is pretty significant. Photon torpedoes are almost fully charged. Come on. Stop unloading. Keep loading, keep loading, keep loading. Stern shield is about to collapse. Really need to get some electronic countermeasure going on here. I'm gonna go two up in here. Slow down a little bit. Photon torpedoes. 
He's hard as G's. He means he's only got F's left. Two F's is 40 damage. That will knock out our forward shield. Fed Hunter Pito select. I'm ready to go. Normal mode. Cut through. If I can split this on two shields, I'm not going to be able to split this on two shields. We're about to take some serious damage, guys. Wow, we didn't. Oh, uh, that was all thanks to the Gatling Phaser just absolutely ripping the heart out of that Photon Burrito Barrage. Slow down and come on in. Fighters, how you doing? Three squadrons? They're, they're itching for some vengeance. Get on out there. Please tell me that you're actually going to engage. Oh, they're not. They are so incredibly glitched right now because of the convoy. Defend me. Do you get that one? Do you understand that order? They do, okay. So they will hang out close to me and they will use their heavy weapons where, ne where needed and or useful. So we're going to line up right on top of them. And all weapons select. Get nice and close. Even closer. Even closer. Oh, we're, you have no idea just how close we're going to get. So to reinforce the forward shield. That's how close we were going to get. Didn't manage to do quite what I wanted. Gotta be honest. Fighters, go kill. He has an R-type plasma torpedo about to be ready. And we're about to drift into his arc. Oh, that was beautiful. I love you guys. Try not to take too much damage. Photon torpedoes managed to get on in through. Uh, Marines, hi. I need you to hit and run and kill that. Um, Photon torpedo. Oh, we got it. So we knocked out his... We knocked out his R-type plasma torpedo. He was ready to fire, too. So he immediately dropped into cloak, realizing he didn't have an offensive weapon anymore. He's down to a speed of 1.2, which is excellent. He's down to seven marines on board. We could probably take him, actually, if we really, really wanted to. Not that we really, really want to. He's coming out of cloak. All phases engaged. Uh, didn't quite engage quite as hard as I wanted to. I'm starting to wonder if I get a bonus for shooting him that or not. Slow down. Right on top of him. This is the plan. Do you have any weapons ready? Don't think you do. Uh, you do have an F-type plasma torpedo, so there is that. I can tank that. I flat out can tank that. That's the fun. A single F-type plasma torpedo is not stopping us. <laughs> yep, 398 prestige. Destroy the entire freighter. Unfortunately, it didn't take the tile. Really? But that's actually going to do it for today's episode. We've been pounding away at 24-11, and they, they just do not want to become fired to the Federation. That is somewhat annoying, because we spent a lot of blood and treasure there. We're going to have to spend a little bit more, but that's going to have to wait for another time. I've been T-Rex. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.